if Abraham blesses his hours, then you've got to understand how that blessing will come to you. How does it come to us? And if you are Christ, I'm trying to show us the importance of faith before I get into the topic. topic. And if you are Christ, then you are what? Abraham said, meaning if you are in Christ, hello somebody, and is according to the promise. In other words, the same blessing Abraham have. Oh, you will have the same blessing. Now, I want to show you, it's important to understand this thing. I've read Galatians over and over again. And actually, this week I saw more. Please go to verse 6 now. I want to read, run from verse 6. I'm going to read verse 6 to 7. Then read 9, 11, and 14. Verse 6 says, of the same scripture, it says, Just as Abraham did what? Believe God. And it was credited to him for righteousness. He believed God. And it was what? Credited. Verse 6. Stay, stay, when I'm there, stay. If Abraham just believe, meaning he just, oh God, I believe you're God. And God said, because you believe that I'm God, now I will declare you righteous. Amen. He didn't kill God. He didn't kill Ram. Hello, somebody. He didn't give God clothes. All he did was to believe. Watch this. So understand that those who have faith are Abraham's son. Son. Because Abraham is the father of faith. Anything I started, I started first, I become the father. Hello, somebody. Now, Abraham being the father of faith, who first believed in the true living God. Remember, Abraham came from idol worshiping family. And God went to his family and said, Abraham. He used to be called Abraham. So I'm going to make you, I'm going to turn you into a multi-billionaire. I'm going to make something out of your life. He said, but all I need from you is not your boy, your idol or God. I just need you to believe that I am God and I exist in the heavens of heaven. He said, if you can believe me, just foolishly believe me, I'm going to turn you into a wonder. And in this church this morning, God will raise men and women that will be turned into wonders. Men and women will begin to ask, who is this lady? I thought I know her. Hello, somebody. There are people who do not know the potent you carry. They don't know you have potential. They are looking at you sometimes like you're just ordinary person. Am I talking to somebody? They consider you as nobody, but they do not know you have something. He said, if, if you believe in Abraham, if you believe in him, I'm going to pour the same blessing, the same oil, the same anointing, the same grace, the same thing I did for Abraham, said, I will do it for you. Say to yourself, I believe the word of God. The word of God is as real as you can touch your hair. Don't take it lightly. Your life begins from the realm of the spirit. Hello, somebody. I've seen scriptures all over the Bible that shows me that I used to hang with God even before I was born. Before my mama conceived me, I was already known by God. In other words, my life is more spiritual than natural. And the word of God is spiritual. Faith is spiritual. If you don't have faith, you are walking in the natural. You are a very carnal person. Hello, somebody. And you cannot please God if you don't walk in the realm of faith. Hello, somebody. So keep going in verse 9. Oh, labando, zikapriando, mahando. The Bible says, so those who have faith. What this? Those are talking, referring to this dispensation. So those who have faith are blessed with Abraham who had faith. If you read all that, use all that translation, it says those who have faith have received the same blessing of Abraham. If you use New Living Translation, it tells you that those who have faith have received the same blessing Abraham received from God. God declared Abraham righteous just by having faith. Meaning if you believe in God, God will also declare you righteous. 
So for you to walk in the blessings of Abraham, somebody like Kenny Copeland, that God has blessed so much, his secret is faith and it comes from the book of Galatians. You know somebody, this morning as I was thinking, I realized I was just thinking through, I realized every great man of God we've known today, or that have done great things, are men and women that take a step of faith. Hello, somebody. I listened to the pastor last time. He said, we bet a 30 million do- doom. He said, I didn't see the money when we started. He said, I just had faith. I trusted God and God bet it. Amen. Hello, somebody. And some of God is bringing us into that realm where he will cause us to do something otherwise we will not be able to do in, with our ordinary peanut ma- mind. Hello, somebody. Some of you here, God is bringing you into something that is going to be bigger and greater than you because of your faith. You don't need to look, Lord, you know, sometimes I don't know what people call beauty. Beauty is in the realm of faith. If you ain't got faith, you are not beautiful, you are ugly. The only ugly person on earth are men and women that do not walk uh, in faith. If you are a natural man or woman, you are ugly. That's the only thing that makes you ugly. But as long as you believe in Jesus, the son of God, you believe that with God all things is possible. It doesn't matter what you're facing. That lion is before you, but he refused to see it. In the name of Jesus, you close your eyes and walk past and say, you lion, I am born from the family of lions. Lions do not, are not afraid of lion. Hello, somebody. If you're a woman, a child of God, you are a lioness. If you are a man, you are a lion. And therefore, when you see a natural lion, remember you walk in the supernatural. Therefore, if they stand before you, you say in the name of Jesus, I'm going to make it. My father did not make it. My mama did not make it. But I will be the person in my family that will be called out of darkness into his marvelous light. Abraham father was idol worshipping father. Hello somebody. It's been said by historians believe that Abraham was the market man of the crafted idols. The father crafted the idol and Abraham set the price. But God walked into their family and was searching for somebody that will represent him and make a name for him. He said Abraham even though you were an idol marketer but I'm going to call you out of your family and make something out of you. There are people here this morning God is about to make something out of your life something out of your family something out of your soul help me talk to your neighbor and say neighbor you are not dead yet God is about to make something out of your life I don't know where you are with God you may be worshiping idol but God is saying, you are my choice. I want to make something out of you. Have you seen people? They they, they have a rough life somehow, but they still believe God. They they, they still take some alcohol. Hello, somebody. And when you're not looking, they can take some cigarette, but they believe God. And when you see God doing stuff for them, you may be wondering, Father, I thought I go to church all the time. Why are you blessing Martina? It should have been me. If you watch Martina, maybe Martina have excellent faith. He believed God so much. Though Martina is still struggling with her life. But she know there is God that made heaven and earth. And so what God does, God, we go and call Martina out because God knows this Martina that have a radical faith. If I can call him and put something in her, I mean, she's going to change the world. How could God call Paul? Unless somebody, God should have gone to look for a better person in the society, not a man that was killing his disciples, but he saw radical faith in Paul. 
He said, this guy that so believe in Judaism, if I call him, he is going to use his spiritual knife so to call the head of the devil in Israel. Can learn somebody? And that's why some mad crazy people are being called by God. Because God knows how to channel the negative into positive. Oh, help me somebody. 